Good morning, travelers. It is day three and another sea day. And I had breakfast on my balcony again. It was lovely. It is getting a bit toastier outside, though. So I wound up bringing some of it in just because I was kind of French frying out there. <laughs> I guess we're going south and getting into warmer climes. And, of course, away from Hurricane Hillary and, and the havoc that she managed to uh, wreak on the local weather. So, um, what do I have today? I ha Well, today's formal night, so there's that. There's another solo meetup at 5, and I think there's various activities that I might get into. I'll let you know what happens. In case you're wondering, I have just been putting this little form out as a door hanger every day. And it, you know, wants your stateroom, how many people they're going to be, and you make your selections. And there's some really nice selections. I've tried various things on different days, and you can have them set it up wherever you want to when they bring it. Uh, usually I have been having them set it up on the actual balcony, but you can set it up inside the cabin if you'd rather. And it's just a really nice way to start the day, and I enjoy having my tea and, and sort of waking up in a leisurely fashion and not having to face people hardly. And it's just a matter of giving them a small tip each time, and it's quite nice service. Where's director Lucy? Where are you from, Lucy? Oxfordshire, the Cotswolds in England. Anybody know what this is called? Jenga. So, what was the guest's team name? Do you guys remember? The Royals! Yes, the Royals versus the Officers. Have you ever played this game so long? No? No? Okay, you're gonna find a block, okay? You cannot touch the top three completed rows, all right? Or anything above that that's incompleted. So, you're gonna find a block with one hand, all right? Tap a block, pull it out, and then place it perpendicular to the row on top, okay? She's like, I'm marching to the beat of my own drum. You love to dance. She was like this, she was at the sail away party dancing. Who's behind your back? <laughs> All right, go ahead, put it up, put it up. Live right here on the Emerald Princess. Just like that, put it on top. That's it. <laughs> Good job, job. Do not miss it before the end of the cruise. There it is, Bonnie. I had a friend named Bonnie in high school. She came to dance. She didn't come to play Jenga. Such dedication. Such anger. <laughs> All right, after this will be Nina Zendry. Zendry. How are you doing, Zendry? Are you going to give me a victory dance? Zendry from India, everybody. They just had their Independence Day, 76 years last week. Congratulations. Oh, don't eat, don't eat. Hey, there, is that the victory dance? Yep, yeah, that's half the battle. You gotta put it. No, no, you gotta put it in the middle. Put it in the middle. Now the victory dance. Here we go. Hey, 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 hey. Don't worry. No, no, no. Out of the middle. Oh, you're literally making the tower stand in one leg.
Regina Luck, who is our first victim? I mean, contestant. Our first contestant once tried to alphabetize a bag of M&Ms. Please welcome John from Ohio. John from Ohio. Here's John. Look for Tuna brought you luck, John. That's my best friend, John. Be nice to him, Fernando. I'm a submarine sailor, so, you know, we're all like... Any Gouda cheese. Really? I don't think so. You, but do you like cheese in general? Well, you know, when I'm at home with my appetite, I have to take cruises so I can eat properly. No. Otherwise, all I do is eat cheese and crackers. Really? You don't cook? No. Oh! <laughs> Vegas. Vegas. Name again? Alan? Vegas. Oh, Alan. Vegas. Yeah, yeah Alan. Oh, <laughs> oh shut. She's pointing and laughing at you. How long did Alan last? 12 seconds. <laughs> you joined the 12 second club. Hooray. What did he win? He won a free round of applause from the audience! You keep nodding your head, I just don't know if to kick you out or not. You got it! We'll give you a bottle. We'll give you a bottle of shampoo. I mean champagne. Congratulations, Bob! Go make some friends, share the bottle! Hello, fellow travelers. It is day three and a sea day. And it's been a good day. So as I'd mentioned before, I started breakfast on the balcony, which has become sort of my favorite thing. I don't know that I'll be able to do it on port days, but it's absolutely my go-to on sea days. And I went and saw, they had an officers versus passengers game of giant Jenga. And that was pretty funny. And then I went and saw a line dance class. I went to the solo meetup. One of the ladies in the solo group has created a standing reservation in the Botticelli dining room uh, for, I believe it was 5.30. And we meet for the solo meetup at five o'clock. And so anyone who wants to go to that can join her. And that worked out really well. I went this time, I didn't go last time. And uh, had some really good conversations with uh, the various people who were in that, and that was fun. And then I went to the Yes No Game Show, and somebody that I had cruised with on an Alaska Carnival cruise years ago, I mean, I think this was like 2017, and they just happened to be on the ship and walked into the Yes No Game Show and to go and sit down, and I was like, I know those people. <laughs> and it's funny because I, you know, Back then, we, we created, um, we, we, we joined each other, you know, as, as Facebook friends. And so I remember yesterday being on Facebook and one of the lady, the lady of the, it's a couple, the lady had posted something about a princess dessert that she just got. And I'm like, what ship are you on? Well, apparently she replied to me, but I haven't been on Facebook since then. But she's on this ship, and so is her husband, and I haven't seen them in years and years. And so just illustrating how small the cruising world can be just happened to be on the same ship. And so that was really fun. We went to, um, after we finished the Yes No Game show, we went over to Motown Trivia for music. And that was fun. Carl Strong did a comedy show, and that was fun too. So we stayed a little later, and oh, this was formal night, so we we're all like dressed up and stuff. And yeah, that was that was a good evening. And so tomorrow I have Mazatlan. I am doing Mexican Hot Springs. It is a tour that is not booked through Princess. 
the tour is booked through the Shore Excursions Group. And this is the first time I'm working with them, and so it should be interesting. None of the ship excursions really appealed to me. And when I went on their site and they had, you know, going to a hot springs and and just, you know, kind of hanging out in the water and stuff for a while and then going back to the ship, the, I believe they're supposed to get us back to the ship like four hours before we're supposed to leave, so it shouldn't be a problem. And so I think that's going to be quite interesting to see. So I'll let you know how it goes. Solo Sue signing off.